In the previous lecture, we had discussion on linearity and conjugation properties of Fourier transform and in this lecture, we will understand two more properties. They are area under xt and area under xj omega. So let's begin our discussion with the third property, which is area under xt. And we know already that whenever we need to calculate the area under the given signal, we simply perform the integration one time of the given signal. So we can say area under time domain signal xt is equal to integration of signal xt with respect to time from minus infinity to infinity. And we know the formula to calculate the Fourier transform of the given time domain signal. Let's say signal xt is having the Fourier transform equal to x j omega. So it will be equal to integration minus infinity to infinity time domain signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. Now we want this form of integration on the right hand side. So we will make omega equal to zero. This will give us x zero on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have integration minus infinity to infinity signal xt dt e power minus j omega t will become one when omega is equal to zero. So you can see x zero is equal to area under time domain signal xt and this is the property which we know as area under xt. I will finalize this property. According to this property, the area under time domain signal xt is equal to its Fourier transform when omega is equal to zero. So this is the third property area under xt and now we will understand the fourth property area under x j omega. x j omega is a frequency domain signal and to obtain the area under this signal we will perform its integration one time with respect to frequency. So area under the frequency domain signal x j omega is equal to integration of signal x j omega with respect to omega from minus infinity to infinity. And we know the formula of inverse Fourier transform. Let's say the time domain signal of this frequency domain signal is xt. So it will be equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity frequency domain signal x j omega multiplied to e power j omega t d omega and we want this integration and we can have it if we put t equal to 0 in this formula. This will give us x 0 equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity x j omega multiplied to 1 because e power j omega t will become 1 when t is equal to 0 d omega. And now I will multiply 2 pi on both the sides. So we have 2 pi x 0 equal to integration minus infinity to infinity x j omega d omega. And you can see that right hand side is giving us area under the frequency domain signal x j omega. So finally we are having the area under the frequency domain signal x j omega equal to 2 pi multiplied to time domain signal xt which is having the Fourier transform equal to x of j omega when t is equal to 0. So this is the fourth property and if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section.